What's up, guys? I'm at Overland Expo, Pacific Northwest. Had to stop by Super Tramp Campers because uh, I first met you guys in Colorado. Right. But uh, introduce yourself to the world. Tell me what you got that's new. Right. So my name is Matt Eisenhood. I'm one of the builders here at Super Tramp Campers, and um, we've had a, a lot of changes in the past year. Just, nice. just a couple upgrades, and uh, just wanted to kind of walk you around the outside here. Cool. So one of the new things that we have now, we got away from using ratchet straps here on the back. Now we use these fast gun mounts. Um, they're really burning really really strong we mount a quarter inch plate system down there and um, super super strong nice. tie down system on the back they, they look like they they won't break that's for sure yeah. right yeah they're, they're not going to come out these these yeah. mounts are really really strong mm -hmm. and nothing to worry about there coming around the side here if you notice under the side we've started the rhino line the entire bottom side of the camper for oh, extra yeah. protection um, and it just kind of looks cool. It does. Yeah. So that rhino liner extends all the way up here, all the way to the undercab section here. Oh, so you're nice. totally protected under the camper. Super easy to clean. Uh, protects from any sort of rocks coming up off your mm -hmm. tires. Um, we we think it's it's a nice addition to the camper. So the previous model was just white. Right. Oh, right. Okay. It, was, it was pretty much the same thing as this. Yeah. Okay. This. Gotcha. Nice. And uh, again, for the guys who don't know. These guys are famous for their, it's like fiberglass, right? Right. Fiberglass, so it's lightweight, strong, but you got the biggest, biggest window in the front I've ever seen right, on a pop right. top. So yeah. we wanted to focus on maximizing how it felt inside the camper because yeah. a lot of a lot of places that you get into it, it feels a little bit cramped we feel like mm -hmm. and we wanted to maximize as much space up there as possible so we yeah. have fantastic airflow through through these huge windows. Yeah. Um, it's waterproof breathable fabric so yeah. it doesn't feel sticky inside, it doesn't feel cramped. Um, yeah. It really feels nice and open. I love it man. It, when I first saw your guys' camper it was like the most open I've ever seen in a camper. That's the best. Yeah, that's, that's the yeah. goal. I mean, I've seen campers with like windows here, but when you're standing up, it doesn't do you any good. Right, yeah. exactly. Well, we do offer um, a window solution here. You could put them if you want. We do right, offer yeah. that as an upgrade if you'd like. Yeah. Um, I like that slick look, though. It, it yeah. does. It looks sleek, man. It, yeah. it looks pretty smooth. Uh, yeah. No, but it's great. It's amazing. What's on the other side? Bed option too, which is pretty cool. So you can that see here we have the uh, 230 Peregrine 180 awning nice. opened all the way up because it's a little hot today. Nice. Um, so these are our new Molly panels. We see and see cut these all in house down in Golden, Colorado. Nice. Um, we attach them using an L track mounting system. And so this just allows you to attach anything really to the side that you want. Super modular. Um, super yeah. modular. You know how, how Molly panels are. Yeah. So on this one, we have the 230 awning, 230 shower yeah. enclosure. Um, mm -hmm. So you can take your shower hose out, open this thing up, and take a shower outside right if you like. I like it. And then, of course, like any camper, these are all your normal Right, right. So we have our outputs. water infill here. We have our NOCO shore power plug-in right here. Um, we have our Truma hot exhaust right there. Nice. What a, you know, Very cool. I like these uh, 230 materials. Oh, the blackout stuff is so awesome. We love them. We yeah. love them. And on, on a day like today, it's, it's necessary. Yeah, that bike rack ain't too shabby either. Yes, yeah, so this is actually a, uh, it's a one up, one up bike yeah. rack here on the back uh, attached to a rigged swing out hitch. Yeah, that's almost, uh, you need this because of the, the rear hatch, right? Right. Yeah, you got to be able to move this stuff out of the way. You got to be able to open the door. Cool. Um, and this is yours, this, this cover here yours? This step? We, we're, we're working on we're working on something for oh, okay. that. This this isn't available for purchase yet. Oh, we're okay. Kind of testing some products right I now. I just showed you guys some prototype stuff, yeah. <laughs> not for sale yet. Yeah. Right. Um, so this is kind of so this drawer is normally just white gel coat mm. on on the standard camper, but for this one we wanted to showcase our wow. use of carbon fiber throughout the camper. Oh, this is actual carbon fiber. Yeah, this is this is 100% real carbon fiber. Oh, so it's this lightweight. Is incredibly light, mm -hmm. uh, incredibly stiff. So uh -huh. we use carbon fiber strategically throughout the camper to strengthen certain areas. And if I remember right, in Colorado, you guys were telling me that this could be either storage or a toilet, right? Right. So if you do opt for the inside shower option, uh, mm -hmm. that gray water tank is held right here. It's five gallon gray water tank for the shower and mm -hmm. a five gallon gray water tank for the kitchen sink. Mm -hmm. um, both your drain hoses come out right here. If you don't opt for the inside shower, this is purely just extra storage. Nice. So that seals up really nice, that's lockable, and that closes right back up. Nice. You guys make this door too, right? Yes, this door is 100% carbon fiber for oh, really? and for lightweight. I did not know that. Was it carbon fiber in Colorado too? Uh, I don't believe so. Oh, believe okay, that's, so that's an upgrade. That's, that's, that's a new, a new option. option. 
Yeah. That's nice. I like how you guys incorporated those uh, dual pane windows on there. Right. Exactly. Exactly. Hi. Good to see you. I finally stopped by. Yay! <laughs> I'm actually rolling right now. Okay. <laughs> if you want to yeah. talk about your stuff. Have you gone inside? Do you want to go inside or do you just do the outside? So here? I just got the rundown on the outside. Yeah. So introduce yourself again. Yeah. I'm Kelsey with Super Tramp Campers. We're out of Golden, Colorado. Cool. Uh, so excited for you guys to check out some of the upgrades. Did he show you some of the paint finish and the rhino he did. liner? He okay. Did, yeah. Well, then let's go on inside. Yeah. So let's pause for a second. Yeah. I told you this last time in Colorado. Yeah best interior ever look at this airflow 360 Thank you. nobody i don't think anybody has 360 yeah like there's usually something here yep. and something over there yeah this so is awesome huge expansive windows and we do everything in house here so yeah. all of the sewing all of the composites all the cabinetry so um huge zippered windows with clear vinyl as well and then an insulated shade so mm -hmm. super easy uh, to use those 36 inches of headroom so you can sit. that's right yeah last time you sat on there you yeah. can sit straight up yep that's cool so some new things that we added is the oh, l yeah. here on the ceiling so you can hang gear tuck your jackets in nice um, any of those soft good bags that are sold here that are organization you can use that here i feel like a little kid down here look i'm so small <laughs> there's so much room in here um we did also upgrade our roof so now the led lights are inset in there just looking really nice and flush taking those additional steps there to just make it really streamlined mm -hmm. um also little features like our electronics are also flush inside um just really kind of making that fit and finish above par that's nice um Next best thing is the underbed storage got upgraded. Whoa, that's so it's a ton of room. Fully composite now. So, really slick, easy to clean, durable. And I think like three for me, one for him. <laughs> I think we're, we're fair place now. That's actually a good idea to split it up. You're like, this is yours, this is mine. <laughs> I like that. Little details too. So, we added a gas strut on this rear booth here. So, okay. now we have plenty of storage here in the back. Um, and it stays open. 24 gallon freshwater tank hidden under there. 1500 watt inverter. Nice, that's plenty. All really organized neatly. Deep storage here goes all the way to the basement. We probably looked at that last time, but super nice. Mm -hmm. And then your most important storage here is your loo. Nice. So, Gotta have that. Yeah, it really works well. Um, and then when you're not using it, you can close it away. I think when we were talking last time, you said you could even put a shower in here if you really wanted to, yep. right? So we have that shower. Oh, there it is right there. So literally it hooks into place here and these four carabiners. Let me uh, move out of your way here. Yeah. There you go. Simply open up the shower curtain here. I'm going to face the zipper towards me. And then, two seconds, hook in this. Oh. Hook in this. That's cool. So if the weather's bad outside and you can't take an outdoor shower, you can come inside, take an indoor shower. So it's great because all the water drains into the pan. It's like a funnel. It's super spacious. It has the fan here so that you're getting extra airflow. So unzip this here. There you go. And step into the shower. Oh, cool. <laughs> so pretty spacious in here. Yeah. So Enough to get the job done. Enough to get the yeah. job done. And then all I do is set my temperature here on the shower faucet, grab my shower, and take an indoor or outdoor shower. So this is on a 10 foot oh, that's hose. You can pull it outside. Yep. Yeah. And use that there. So really nice because you can use it and then pack it away and be mm -hmm. done. So I love it. That's cool. It's like minimalist. Yeah. And, you know, being able to wash indoors super windy yeah super bad weather and then this material is antimicrobial so it's not even if you had to pack it up wet there's not going to be any issues with that so i'm just going to tuck that away cool and clearly it only takes a few minutes to set up it's not even that long no yeah. and i'm done with my shower so. very cool and then I know we talked about this last time, but you might as well talk about it again. So kitchen cutlery drawer right here. So uh, on a pull-out drawer, all your food gear is organized in here. And then electronics in here. So we've got the Truma, Truma. Combi here. This is the Eco Plus unit. So we're testing out this solution so that you can actually plug in. So you can run it off propane or electric. We're partnering now with Battleborn for our lithium batteries. Nevada, nice. <laughs> Their customer service is stellar. 
uh, really high quality batteries out of the United States. We're really happy to partner with them. Um, then all Victron components, we did upgrade our electrical box. So it's much larger than it used to be. And then all of our linear actuators are actually on a circuit breaker instead of fuses. That way, your most critical solution, if anything happens, you're easily able to just push the button. Nice. So we also have our serial number and weight right here, made in Colorado. What was the weight again? This one's 1375 as you see it. And that's because we have an extra battery, two molly panels, the shower enclosure, and an awning. That's awesome. Yeah. That's awesome because that means it can fit in a lot of these trucks that don't have a huge payload. Yeah. Yeah. So we're on an F-150 right here. Um, we just placed it on an F-350 lately. Mm -hmm. Gosh, it was stunning though. It's like you don't even know it's back there, huh? No. If anything, the truck rides better that way. But I love that I can drive this vehicle comfortably. Yeah. Like, um, we didn't have to get a super dually or anything along those lines. Yeah. yeah. And then we have got well-stocked fridge with the little nice. freezer as well nice and hot here in overland yeah. pacific northwest i thought it was going to be cooler here in pacific me too northwest. you're like it's just like colorado it's out in the sun yeah so i'm um, doing everything in-house and then we are also just recognized with the advanced industries grant for colorado so taking the process of the vacuum infusion that we're doing now um, and doing reusable bag technology so colorado awarded us with a two hundred fifty thousand dollar grant wow. uh, to improve our manufacturing processes and keep taking that to the next level so nice really stoked uh big question so i know because people really like these videos yeah. on your guys' truck if somebody wanted to buy one what's the turnaround with you guys yeah. are you guys getting more popular yeah getting so tough? we're one year out so Whoa. yep yeah so uh but that being said uh, uh we know that the truck industry is a little crazy right now yeah. so that gives you opportunity to get your truck secured um uh -huh. and we kind of are big believers in buy the buy the right thing the first time yeah. get what you're waiting for i really think that also you're making an investment that's going to last mm -hmm. so you can take this camper to your next truck and also hopefully give it to your kids yeah i was i was thinking someone who buys something like this is probably not their first truck camper exactly they're like you know i did the cheap ones i did this i did that now i want to treat myself to the best yep yeah that's so, probably who your customers are right yeah, yeah we're also yeah. getting a lot of crossover people mm -hmm. who have vans who are looking for a more off-road capable vehicle oh, yeah, yeah. um also more people are getting into the outdoor industry so they're mm -hmm. looking for uh, a high-end solution to do that we also mm -hmm. offer a window here. I know it's not shown right now, but it's a 44 oh, yeah. in, inch window that tilts out the Arctic turn style. Mm -hmm. And then, um, so we're really happy with that as well. And I've been pressing you about the bunk beds. <laughs> I know. I know. <laughs> so it goes For the right kids. here. It, goes, it, it would be here. Yep. But you just don't have it yet. I don't yeah. have it right now. So yeah. um, I promise I'll let you know. <laughs> Maybe by Colorado yeah. Expo if you're going to be yeah. at the Colorado Expo. That'd be Expo. a cool thing to show, I'm telling you. I think I it'd be know. awesome. I know. So we'll have it. <laughs> um, but super stoked. And um, yeah, if you want to hear from us, definitely reach out to cool. info at supertrampcampers.com. And thank you so much. Awesome. Yeah. There you go, guys. That was just a quick update on a camper that we had seen before. But I think it's just literally, it's like one of the best out there, really. Thank you. Uh, easily top three, for sure. <laughs> You'd say number one, I know, right? But uh, yeah. <laughs> but yeah, check them out, guys. Again, uh, website one more time before we go. www.supertrampcampers.com. And you can also reach us at info at supertrampcampers.com or 720-724-5788. Oh, and one more thing before we go. If the guys are in Colorado, could they stop by? Yeah, uh, we just ask that you reach out. We like to do the mm -hmm. tour. We like to show you the production facility. You guys are busy, facility. though. And we're busy. But really, mm -hmm. I just want to be able to spend time with you, show mm -hmm. you how we're making the campers, show you the campers. So if you're mm -hmm. able to reach out and schedule with us it's pretty much just letting us know when you're coming by cool awesome yeah. thank you there we go guys check them out